beautiful bright orange kind of magenta color uh, pink color along the horizon the sunrise dawn as the sun approaches the horizon you get some beautiful color good morning everybody Jasper here welcome to day 58 I believe it's April the 22nd today and it's a Friday it's also a town day and a zero so the zero isn't actually today the zero will be tomorrow I will be arriving this morning in Dalesville as you know and I will be spending two nights Friday night and Saturday night at the Ojo or the Howard Johnson tomorrow will be my zero Ooh. and it looks like we have a little bit of a rock climb this morning okay well here we go beautiful morning warm night probably probably one of the warmest nights so far on trail first time I slept with my vestibule door open um, so I could see the trees the stars in the night camped in a beautiful spot next to a, next to a babbling brook last night it was gorgeous okay I'm going to keep going for now I just wanted to welcome you all to my day What a beautiful scene. The rocks right in the foreground with a little bit of green kind of bush tree. The trees in the midground and then the mountain in, in background. What a beautiful kind of composition and just gorgeous. You just got to be careful where you put yourself because your shadow, which is right there you see my shadow moving don't want that in there but that itself is a beautiful composition about I don't know four and a half miles in for the morning I think about 4.6 miles to go to town I think town is on the other side the Sun's right in my eyes so it's gonna be right in your eyes too but I believe Daleville is right down there. I gotta find out if they have a Walmart in Daleville. Because I could use that. I know they have the outfitters and so on. Okay. Gorgeous morning. It really is. <laughs> As we're descending from the mountaintops down to Daleville, uh, two day hiker ladies just told me that five minutes down the trail on the right hand side was a big beautiful black bear. Uh, so of course, cameras at the ready, <laughs> for sure, for sure. Uh, eyeballs like searching, <laughs> for sure, for sure. Uh, it was on my right side. So you know what guys, I'm going to stop talking, I'm going to be quiet, I'm walking on just a soft ground, so I'm not making too much noise, I don't want to startle him, but I do want to get him on film, stand by. Well, I'm pretty close now to where the ladies told me uh, about the the bear. I'm not seeing anything yet. And of course, could have crossed the trail to the left side, of course, but in that time. Plus, the ladies had two dogs with them, but I didn't hear the dogs bark from above. But the bear may have sensed them and just took off anyhow. Well, 
There he is, right there. You see him in the forest? There is the black bear. I'm gonna try to point him out to you. I can see him right there. He is right in here somewhere. Take a close look, guys. The bear is there. We're gonna... I can see him. He's right at the bushes. He's big. Um, he's definitely big. You see him moving? He just moved. I think he's doing... There he comes. There he goes. He's out of the bushes. He's behind some trees right now. Oh, boy. He is down there. He is down there. Rule number one, do not chase bears. I don't see him right this minute. Oh, there he is, right there, right through there. So, I see him moving. A little bit closer, but we're not going to get too close to this guy because he's big and he knows I'm here now. There he is, look. I hope you can see him because you can only see a part of him, but he's definitely there. See him through the trees right there? Right there. Okay, what I'm going to do now is take turn the video off and see if I can uh, get a still picture. Or maybe not. Maybe I'm going to be happy with this video because oh, he's looking. He's looking at me all right. He definitely knows I'm here. Okay. Good morning, Mr. Bear. I can see you. Yeah, he knows I'm here. He's not moving at all except moving his head from left to right. Oh, what am I doing? What am I doing? Oh, he's looking. There he is. Right in the, there he goes. There he goes. You guys see him? There he goes. We're not going to chase him. We're certainly not going to chase him, but he's a big guy. Okay. You know what? Uh, you know what? <laughs> that was the most amazing thing. <laughs> that was the most amazing thing. Uh, it's the second time I've seen bears on trail. The first time on the Appalachian Trail. Uh, and... I've seen bears once on the Bruce Trail in the Northern Peninsula. Woo! Woo! <laughs> I am so delighted. I am so delighted to have seen that big old bear. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we better get going. The highway, you can see Interstate 81 and Highway 220, Virginia Highway 220. The Howard Johnson sign. The hotel, where I am staying. I'm right at the end, room 121. I got my shorts and other items all laundered. My shorts are just finishing off drying. And this is my hiker trash, oh yeah, room. You can see it's work in progress all my every time you come to a to town and you do the same things all the tupperware the cook system gets actually cleaned properly you start sorting out resupply certain things like this and this and these i picked up today from the outfitters um and some more fuel this is a four ounce i have two of these full now so that's going to last me a while uh i washed when i say wash Oh, more clothes that I've dried, that I've uh, laundered, and I do that in the bathtub. Wash my air pad, wash my sleeping pillow, 
hang my sleeping bag and my sleeping bag liner just to air out stuff drying my buff my gaiters my gloves i've still got to buy some gloves cleaned my water filter i got my water bottle still to clean oh that's me <laughs> wearing my rain gear or my poofy and stuff because my other stuff is drying my bathroom and i've already had a good hot bath great hot water great tv i've got a microwave and a refrigerator and a coffee machine thank you so delighted about that so there you have it the howard johnson here in dalesville i'm going to be here for tonight and tomorrow is a zero i'll be doing my food resupply tomorrow and and so on so yeah this is day 58 uh, my zero will be day 59, I believe, and then Sunday morning will be day 60 as I head north from here. My next resupply is in Glasgow, which is about 50 miles north of here. We'll talk more about that probably come Monday. I probably won't talk to you tomorrow unless something amazing happens. The bear today was absolutely stunning, and I do hope we got good footage of that on the video. But anyhow... Maybe we'll get more opportunities as we head further north for bear. Talk to you guys later. Have a good night.